Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. Abiola David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write if statement to create DAX calculated column in our data model. So let's get started. Now we have the sample data loaded into the data model and the name of our table is sales 2019 data. Now by definition, the DAX calculated column defines columns value by combining text value from multiple columns. So let's see our scenario. Now in this data set, we have this unit column and we have units ranging from four to 200. So what we want to do essentially is to classify our customers into categories. Now for the bronze category, these are customers that purchase or have units between four to 50. So the silver are the customers purchasing between 51 to 100 and the gold are people purchasing from 101 to 150 and the last one is the platinum from 151 to 200 units. Now let's see how to write the if statement. So I'm going to click on this, double click on the add column and provide a descriptive column name. So I'm going to say customer category and I hit enter. Okay, let's, okay, this is customer. Okay, now come to the formula bar and I'm going to write the first if DAX function. So, if and I press my tab key. So, just like in Excel, we have the logical test to evaluate. So, the logical test will be the name of my table and the column that we are interested in, which is sales 2019 data and in square bracket the units column. So I can actually just click on this column and we have the syntax, which is the table name first and in square brackets, the column name. So I'm gonna check whether it is less than or equal to 50. So if result is true, what do I want? Inside double quote, we want to return bronze. Then I close that up, comma. So for the result if false, I'm gonna train the second if, which marks the beginning of nested if statement. Now the logical state still remains the same thing. Units, then I want to check whether it's less than or equal to, in this case, 100, comma. Okay, if it's true, what do I want? I want silver, close, comma. So for the result, if first again, we try the third if, press my tab key, logical test still remains the same thing. Units, I want to check if it's less than or equal to 150. Comma. So if it's true, we want to return gold, customer, category, close that up, comma. So for the last one, which is the platinum from 151 to 200, I don't need to train the fourth if. All I need to do is to just provide the result if force. So I'm going to just insert the quotation, put in platinum. Okay, then I close the double quote, close my first, second, and if formula. Then I deploy enter on the keyboard. So amazing. So we can see the customer categories. Now we can see this customer has 29 units and it falls under bronze. This customer purchased 148 units of our item. And of course, she falls under the gold customer category. This fellow is 188 force on the platinum now let's check for silver so silver is between 51 to 800 so this is a number between 51 to 100 and we have silver so we have created the dax calculated column which we can use in our visualization we can use it in the rows in the houses in the legend or in the group areas so this is essentially how we write if statements in the dax environment so i hope you've learned something new if you enjoy it you know click on likes comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and bye for now